Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, Friday. Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Rennie. Hi, Miss Kathy. Hi, Sheila. Young lady. Hi, Diana. How are you? How's the honey? How's your hubby? Hi, Dana. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, Miriam. Hi, Trace. How are you? Hello, Leona. Hi, Sue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Choi Choi. He just walked away. Choi Choi, our friends say hi. You're very welcome for the happy mail. Yay, I'm so glad. Hi, Helen. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Hi, Cindy. Hello, hello, everyone. Happy, happy Friday. It's a Friday. Another weekend. You guys, I got like anxiety today because I started thinking about Christmas shopping. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Hi, Carol. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do Christmas shopping. Yay for Friday. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't know why I'm just here in La La Land. I'm just uh let me get these names on the real wheel on the wheel let me get the real on the wheel real quickly it's one of those days <laughs> let me get the names on the wheel really quickly anybody have any wonderful plans for the weekend we are not doing anything as usual. But you know what? We don't really do a whole lot. Like, I don't know. I told you guys, I'm a homebody. I am a homebody. Okay, I think I got, I think I got everybody. All right, so we have um, to finish up the clock. I did uh, finish up the crackle. Um. So I put on the, you know, second step because Troy pulled the plug as I was putting on the, um, you threw an Onyx's toy. <laughs> I don't know where she is. Oh, she's right here by me. Oh, Troy must be tra chasing her. Um, so I did put on the second step and, um, and then... God bless you, son. And now today we'll put on the Umbra. I know that the Umbra is still out of stock. Hi, Sue Russin. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Happy Friday. Um, so when he pulled the pulled the plug, I was putting on the first step. So after that dried, I put on the second step. But let me show you guys. So I did add the um so I did add the hands and everything back. Uh, as you can see, remember I'm West Coast, so that's actually the right time. So the this is the original uh, mechanism that was in the clock, and it worked just fine. I just add a batter, added a battery. Hi, Julie. Thank you. So um, I didn't need to change any of that. And then I will show you up close what the crackle looks like. I did add the paper and all of that good stuff in the description. Um, so let's just take this out really quickly. And it is very pretty, right? Is the color looking okay today? Look at how the color is fine today as opposed to what was happening the other day when it was bright purple. Oh, nope, it's getting purple again. See, I took this out and now it's getting purple again. <sighs> Hi, Jan, how are you? Yeah, it was a nice blue until I took that picture, until I took the rice paper out, now it turned purple again. But it's all the white balance and everything. It's going crazy. I know, Sue. Did you see it turned purple right before our eyes? Hi, Kimberly. How are you? <laughs> so we know it's not purple. It matches the rice paper perfectly. Although it keeps turning purple every time I take out the rice paper. 
Thank you, Jan. Why do you got the fly swatter? You killing flies, Papas? Hi, Lori. How are you? It is like magic. Let me get Jan's name on the wheel. Oops. Okay. So yes, today is also Happy Mail Friday. So we will pick out <clears throat> pick a uh, Happy Mail winner, and I think everybody received their Happy Mail. Um, I was I was off the last week, so some stuff went out late, but I think everybody's got it now. Choi Choi, Jan says how she hears you. Don't touch the top of the fly swatter though, Pops, okay? It's yucky, yucky, yucky. Thank you, Sheila. Onyx is uh, right here at my feet, so Troy must be chasing her around. Okay, so I'm just going to take a soft cloth and I'm going to take the umbra. If you, if you go to look for this when it does come back in stock, it is actually umbra, but I believe it's listed on the site as umber. Troy, Troy, bring that swapper up to your Oregon name. <laughs> Can you, because your desktop is too bright. Yeah, yeah, it's the white balance. It just makes it all crazy. So, all right, so we're just going to <clears throat> take this and work it into the crackle and then remember when you're working with fine line you cannot have any water-based products with the fine line crackle fine line is the only what <laughs> lori it's actually not purple <laughs> That's why we keep laughing. It's a uh, it the color is actually indigo blue, but there's it the white balance is getting thrown off with all the lights, the reflection of my desk and everything that every time I take away the rice paper that goes with it, it goes to purple. It's so funny. Look at those amazing cracks, y'all. Look at that. I love fine line crackle. So again, you can put on as much as you like. You can wipe off as much as you want. Um, you know, it's all personal preference. Um, but it's just, it's amazing. Hi, Lynn. I know, right? Okay, so let's get the... Look at how purple that looks. Woo wee, mama, we need to put the inside back. We'll do, I'll put it back in as soon as I'm done with this. So I was trying to think what all I could put on, you know, the frame, like what else do I want to do to it? And I think I'm gonna fight with myself and actually just leave it. Um, we'll do a little bit of gold wax on the trim and, and on the bevel part, but it's such a beautiful piece that I don't think it needs a lot of extras done to it. So, I mean, you guys can tell me if you think different, but I just don't think... I mean, we'll put it all together and I'll show you guys. I just don't think it needs all the, the bells and whistles of extra stuff. So happy to see the, the fine line. Oh, yeah. Is that wax or paste? This is antiquing wax. Well, antiquing paste, excuse me. So this is the antique paste in Umbra. It doesn't ever like to focus unless I put my hand on there. Um, Diana, how's your husband? Is he doing okay at home? You can't get the crackle to work for you. I wonder why. You know that I have crackle tutorials on ev uh, every single crackle that Pintart has on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I am, I've been on the Royal Court creative team since it started. 
So I have done a lot of tutorials for them, for the team. And Crackle has every Crackle there is that <clears throat> Pintart has. Um, I have done a video, a tutorial for. And you can find those all on, you can find it on the Royal Court or you can find it on my channel. I looked at Hobby Lobby and they don't have the clock anymore. Oh no, really? I fine line everything I can. I love it. I know, right? I've actually, it's funny because I, it was a period there that you guys will all remember, I'm sure, where I was crackling everything. Um, and then I said, all right, we need to, need to move away from it for just a little bit. And, but I probably would put crackle on every single thing if I had my way. Onyx, mama girl, why are you running? Is Troy chasing you with the fly swatter? Huh? Is he chasing you with the fly swatter? You trying to swatch ya? All right. So, of course, all these tops and turns and, you know, I put the crackle on all of it. So, it's got cracks. The only thing I did not do was the handle as far as the crackle goes, but I will still put the umbra on the handle just so it doesn't stick out and not, you know, not have any type of aging on the handle and it'll look strange. Hi, Miss Edie. Want to get some of the opalescent to put on my light bottles. Oh, yeah. I haven't used um, the etching or the opal. I haven't used that on any of my lives yet. <clears throat> I don't know why. Probably because I have it in a different drawer and I don't think about it. All right. So all of the cracks are done on that and then i just need to get around the top here in the bevel but um really quickly i'm just going to take a little bit and just hit the handle wherever it may go and then i'll wipe it off just so again it doesn't you know stick out as not being aged but I'm not caring about getting out every bit of it. So, all right. So next Sunday is our meet and greet in the Zoom, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, and actually next Friday, you guys will see, I'm going to post that as well next Friday. Um, so not this week, Friday, right? Is it not? So not today. What's the date today? Oh my God, today's already the third. So next Friday is going to be my auction. So my auction will be at 2.30 Pacific. Mm. So 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. Mm. Mm. What do you want me to do with this, Pops? Oh no, hold on a minute, bud. That case is so hard to get off. So next Friday, this clock will also be in the auction. Hi, Ari. How are you? Uh, no, they don't. So I went uh, and bought new brushes and uh, we'll try again. Uh, 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 Thank you, Lynn. I'll get your name on the wheel. Okay, Pops, let me just wipe this. I'll, I'll try to get it off right now for you. I will try to get it off for you right now. Hold on. Let me see it. See you take it away. Let me see it. He wants me to change his phone case, but this one that I put on there is like, a, it's super tight. Mm -hmm. um, and so he can't get it off by himself. And the other day I had to use a doggone screwdriver. There you go, baby, to get it off the flathead. All right, so 
that's that now let me show you look at that so it's all on the top and again if you wanted to um add more you could it doesn't oh there you go i was gonna say it doesn't even look like that side is done if you want to add more you can if you want to wipe off more you can it's totally a per personal preference and up to you um but once it sets you know then you're not going to be able to rub it off anymore you should still set it um though with um a top coat but because it's got fine line you're going to need to use a uh, solvent base so hi miss wanda so i will do that outside away from troy and the doggies i won't i don't do that in the house and i don't ever do it on a live um i can't see you pops what are you doing all right so let's put the um backing back in there and then i'll show you i'm gonna take um the gold wax and i'm going to hit the wax on the top here and then some of the raised edges um actually i'll do the i'll screw in the it has screws for the back so when you put the backing on you can screw it down as well so let's get this in there i need to what time sun oh no you got the wi-fi on pops it's fine all right and i will take all of that stuff off all right so let me get my little tool hi shannon how are you Are you showing houses this weekend, Shannon? All right. So kind of like when you put a lug nuts on on the car, do your opposite so it doesn't lay down crooked. I don't know if you guys know how to change a flat tire. <laughs> I think most of you guys know I did drag racing for a while i did quarter mile racing so i know how to work on my own cars and do all the stuff engine all the good stuff all right so there we go let's see if we can get it to go back to blue now and not so purple Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Jamie. You can't see it because of all the lights. Hold on. So, and more lights. So that's the clock. Did not know what? Did not know. I actually do know how to change a tire but never but i'd never do it willingly yeah i think all women need to know how to change their own tire um because you know you just don't ever want to get stranded anywhere so i've taught all my nieces or i've told all my nieces i probably needed for i probably needed to teach my brothers too there's a couple of my brothers that need to learn <laughs> okay so now the only other thing that I wanted to do to this, didn't know you are a racer. Yep, I did quarter mile racing all the way up until I was six months pregnant with Troy. Yep. Can you come fix my VW that broke down? Actually, you know what? I do not like working on VWs. They're very complicated and it's a very tight space <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna take the gold wax now and very lightly if you can see that it has like a bevel here um 
Yeah, I've got some pictures and stuff of me racing. So, we used to travel and do all the fun stuff. All right. Just pit it around on here a little bit. Do you miss Kathy? How fun! Fun, fun, fun. So yeah, so when you race, um, you know, you don't let anybody else touch your car, right? So you need to learn how to, or you shouldn't let anybody else touch your car. Um, so you learn, you know, I learned how to work on my own car. Help swap a couple motors, help do all the things, all the things. All right, let's get the top, and then we will really get it up here on the swirls up here. Hi, Sharon. How are you? What's your favorite car for racing and on racing and on the road? What's your favorite uh, car for racing uh, and on the road? Okay. Um. Can you get me? So, what do you, what's my favorite car in general? Uh, uh, so, uh, is that uh, what you mean? Because, uh, uh, and then racing, I only raced import cars. So, um, uh, 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 that's what you mean. But, yeah, I, we have a Corvette. Uh, I love, you know, like the Camaro. Um, oh, yeah. That's cool, son. I see it. But can you go get your drink so I can fill up your cup? Pops, go get your drink so I can fill up your cup, Papa Boy. I know you are not yelling at me. Then regular road. So when my hubby or son can't fix mine, I call you. Yep. <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it was it was funny because even when my young the young I'm the youngest, but the youngest of my the third oldest brother, he doesn't do anything when it comes to cars. So yeah, when he needed his brakes or even an oil change or something like that, call the little sister. Dude. You raced on, on, you raced your on-road car, you used it for, no, no, no. I had, um, I had a car that I raced and then I had my own car. Yeah, because the car that I raced didn't, wasn't, um, you know, didn't have any other seat in there except for the driver's seat, <laughs> and her, you know, and I ran, at that time, I only ran a 50 shot of NOS. Nowadays, these guys are crazy with how much NOS they do and they use, but yeah, most of us didn't race our street car, our street legal cars. That's awesome, Diana. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I just think it's important. It, even if you don't have to change a tire, that you, you know, that women know how to change the tire. Everybody, not just women, anybody, right? Because you never know where you might be and waiting for a tow truck for hours on end sometimes is not convenient. So, um, you're bringing me candy, son. 
I'm just going to take down some of this wax here. Um, so, you know, even like Trevor, I've already told him, like, you realize you're going to have to learn how to change a tire. And he just kind of looked at me and I'm like, yep, you got to do it. Pops, it's on, love bug. I fixed my own cars as I grew up working in my dad's mechanic shop all my young. That's awesome, Shannon. My husband tried to teach me how to change a tire, but every time I would attempt, he'd take the tools from me and say, wait, let me show you each step he kept you up to Hi, <laughs> Elena. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So basically, y'all, that's it for the clock. I don't. Look at Troy Troy bringing me candy. Look. <laughs> Thank you, Troy. I really, you know, when we had talked last, I was going to do all the things, right? I was going to figure out what we could put on it and all of that. But I just, every time I look at it, I just, I don't know. I just feel like sometimes it's, you know, less is more. And I think that it's just so beautiful that I don't think it needs to have all of that other stuff on there and it's throwing me off because it's blue it's purple again see this is the actual color <laughs> so we put some highlights of gold around it i don't like ooh don't grab a baby wipe like i was just gonna do um i don't like how there's so much gold deposit right here i just mm. want to kind of mm. highlight it but anyways mm. Mm. so this is our clock. And I mean, look how beautiful. Isn't that? God, it's so pretty. And the color is, you see, blue. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to add anything to it because I just think it'll take away from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's enough going on in the picture that we don't need to add anything to it. So, Anyhow, that will be in the auction on, um, whoops, that will be in the auction on uh, Friday. So if anybody likes it, beautiful just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a master. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Troy, it fell down. 59 years, never done it, Margaret. <laughs> okay, so now. I was like, okay, well, I obviously, I knew that that was going to be done um, because I had decided that I didn't want to do a lot of bling to it, especially as I kept looking at it. I was like, it's just beautiful. I don't, we don't need to do that. So what do you guys want to see? I thought it would be really fun to do a couple of like towels, like hand towels. Um, that you can hang. These are actually really humongous, but I mean, it gives me more work, room to work on, but we could do some towels. Like if you wanted to change out your towels for this season and you don't want to buy them, do them yourself. Absolutely decoupage them yourself. Or I have a, um, I don't know what this is. I think this is a makeup bag. We can decoupage a makeup bag. Or, and when I say decoupage, I just, you know, mean like we can do up a makeup bag or some of the napkins or understated is magnificent for the, yeah, right? So we have this bag that it's like a, I don't know, we'll look at it together. Oh, wow. Okay. So. Um, we have the bag here that we could do, or I have, uh, this wine box that I found at looks like Goodwill that we could do and do like this for this season as well. So we can do the towels, the makeup bag, or get started on the, um, wine box. Towel, 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 towels, towels, towels. <laughs> get, 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 get. Are you taking my bag? 
Why? You want to take everything, everything, everything. You just take it all. Makeup bag. Well, I don't know about the makeup bag. It just took a took a took a walk. Wine box towels. Wine box towels. Towels looks like towels. Do you have to wash the towels first? Lori, I get asked that all the time. And I don't ever, I don't wash my aprons. I don't wash my pillowcases. I don't wash my towels. I don't wash my stockings. I don't, um, I haven't ever had a problem. That doesn't mean you're not supposed to, but I have decoupage on many of fabrics and I, and I have never washed them, but it doesn't mean that you're not supposed to. I just haven't. I know that sometimes they ha are they mm. have something on mm. them, but um, mm. <laughs> your iPad is not gonna fit in that, sir. I'm sorry. So this is a big old mama jamma. This is humongous. Um, it has the little hook here, so I guess you would hang it like that. But look at all of this cotton picking space, man. Cotton picking. <laughs> I just cracked myself up. Mm -hmm. Worse mm -hmm. if you wash them and add fabric softener. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I just, I, I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't done it, and I, and I, I just don't think I, I will. Mm -hmm. Troy James, it's not gonna fit, son. You can't make it grow. That's just silly. That's just silly. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. You either need a smaller iPad or not a makeup bag. <laughs> anyway, Cindy said to ask you nicely for it back. I tried, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Okay, so I think what we should do, because we do have so much room on this, we should do some transfers. We should do some decoupage. We should do all the things. But the first thing I need to do is just give this a little spray with some isopropyl alcohol. Just because that is a lighter color and I don't want it dirty. It's his makeup bag now. <laughs> I'm hoping to finish my tote and clutch this weekend. You tried. <laughs> Did you stuff it in there? Oh, you put your smaller iPad in there. Okay, you're smart. I said get a smaller one. All right. I'll, I'll get it back, Cindy. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So. I know, right, Jamie? It's his now. So let's just do a little. Um, so it has the little boop de doop thing there. So let's uh, just flap in this out. But let's look at some of this stuff. So I still have all of these transfers. Make sure it's not dirty on the back. I don't know why it would be. Um. Look at this. We still have the hot cocoa served. Uh, so we could do that one. But remember, we have the, that gigantic. Oh, that would be cute, too. And the gigantic Santa. <laughs> he really seriously put his. You're so silly, son. And then we have all of the fairies still. So we have the fairies, and then we have the Holly Glen, which is all the critters. So, ooh, that's a big one, too. That's a great idea. What's Miriam's great idea? This is amazing. My sister's birthday is coming up, and I was thinking to make a tea set along with a tea towel as her gift. Oh, that's awesome. You guys, I don't know if anybody would be interested, but I have tea sets that I have done. I've never put them in the auction. Um, I did one a long time ago that I actually gave to my friend because I kind of did it in like a 
kind of like Alice in Wonderland ish. Um, but they are all, they're really beautiful. I just don't know if it is something in someone would want in an auction. I know some people, a few people sell them in their auctions, but I don't know. I've just, I've never done it with you guys. They're, they're bigger pieces. So they take kind of, you know, longer. So I usually just kind of do it on my own time. Well, why not? <laughs> I know, right? The hot cocoa. I don't know. Um, I don't know why. I love doing them. I've got one that's so ornate and beautiful. It's a, it's humongous. Um, it, it's heavy. It's a one, two, three, four piece set five piece set. So I don't know. I've just never done them on my channel either. I don't even know if you guys want to see that because it does take long. I would love to see them. These take longer than your regular. <laughs> Trace. That's why you're my people, Trace. Oh, the shade, the shade. <laughs> I know that's true, but like literally they do, they take long because, right? Because especially when you have like a four or five piece set, I guess maybe I could do like the tray and maybe one piece and with you guys and then do the other pieces offline. Because I resin them and everything. I sell the trays, but I've never sold like a full set. Would love to see you do it. Would be nice to see. Okay. Get some inspiration. Trees is, I love trees. She's just freaking amazing. Okay. So I seen that um, you want to see. Just got here. What we doing? Hi, Joyce. Well, we're actually starting a new project. We just finished the clock. So we decoupage the clock. We I got at um, Salvation Army. So we painted it and decoupaged and crackled and did all of that. So now we are going to do a couple of um, like hand towels and we're going to do them like season. Um, so instead of buying, you know, your Christmas towels or your fall towels or whatever, why not? make our own so i just pressed it and i seen that y'all were some of you were saying that you like the hot cocoa oh oh my oh my oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm sorry on it it's a it's a it's a it's it's an earthquake it's an earthquake everything's falling on alex <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> clear the banner edie may come in oh 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 What material are they? Our towels are fluffy. They're uh, linen. 100% cotton. But I know that when I, um, they're in, I, they're, they're in my Amazon. I have to add them to my store. Okay. So you guys liked this one. I know I seen. So we like the hot cocoa. But look at how big the towel is, y'all. So we're going to have to, like, put this in the center and then do some, like, stuff around it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So let's also pull out so the holiday traditions redesigned with prima this came out with their new release with the new um molds that that's a different color i wonder if they heard everybody complaining about the brown how the brown always messes up the your project so let's pull these out and see so i like the merry christmas these swirls are strange, but, oh, we have Christmas here too. All right. 
All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things, but don't forget, we also have these fun ones that I've gotten from Amazon. And remember, this is the pack. It was a pack of, was it 10 or 12, y'all? That was like 20 bucks for all of them. So I like the car. I like the car too, the car and the Santa. No more towels. You told your sister no more towels. I have stick fast all over my fingers. Oh, no, I don't like, I don't like stick fast on my fingers. Oh gosh, Elizabeth, <laughs> don't rub your face or your eyebrow or anything. Okay, so let's look at the, cause we have two towels, so. Ooh, we have candy cane, the stocking. Okay. So let's get all of these bad boys out. Ooh, you guys. Oh, duck. Okay, this was unplanned, you know, so my, my brain has to, you know, compute a minute. Will these work on material? Yes, they will. Absolutely will. And you guys know that I use my, um, oh, we've got to use some of that. I use my wash it. So that way they'll be protected. Okay, I hear, I seen um, Miss Edie say candy canes. So let's take some of these out. It's so, it's hard to judge transfers sometimes because of the background. Um, it's hard to get a feel for how they look, right? So don't forget, we have these that we're going to probably end up using too. Okay, so let's take off some of this stuff so we can see what we're actually working with as far as the base of it. What, baby? You pulled it off? Okay, so if we did the hot cocoa, on one, we would put that in the middle. We can put more candy canes on it, of course. And then are those the same type that we used on the tote bags? No, no, the tote bag was an iron on. It was a heat transfer. I hang my towels halfway, I'm interested. Well, Typically, right, your towels are usually only like half of this side. The reason why I'm going to the middle is because it has this little hanger here. So it would be, you know, if you if you were to hang it like, you know, like that. I mean, we could cut the towel and then I could make a new seam. Um, that's fine, too. Do you guys think we should cut it? It's just cotton. It's not going to hurt it. But again, it has this at the corner. I mean, that could be taken off. We can cut it and do half of it. And actually make four towels. Or we just do two gigantic ones. No, don't cut it. No, don't cut it. Okay. So do we want to start with the hot cocoa or do we want to do Yes, that sounds like a good idea to cut into four. Don't cut it. Don't cut. No, don't cut. Give up. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're going to do hot cocoa. Yeah. Ow! We also have Merry Christmas there. We have the snowflakes. I'm looking for borders. 
All right, let's do this. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yes, Pubas. I'm not ignoring you, son. I hear you, love book. Um, the only thing I'm looking at now is if I want any rice paper or anything behind this. But I say let's just do it. Onyx, you're right at my feet, mama girl. No, just do two so I can get ideas. Guess I'll go back on my Amazon. Ordered my tennis shoes yesterday. I meant fold mine over a kitchen drawer pool so halfway shows at a time. I hope that makes Yeah, it does. I tried those for one, but I couldn't get it to work on muslin. Oh, really? Gingerbread men? <laughs> Gingerbread men? I don't know. Well, okay, I don't see the fly, but if I see the fly, I will... I'll get it. I'll get it. But I don't see the fly right now. And I don't want you to touch it because it's yucky. Okay? Okay. All right. So um, let me just really quickly. We've got five and three sixteenths. We've got five. Ugly mugly. Papa is hold on a second, son. I got it, son. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Mm. All right. And we've got four and fifteen sixteenths. How how is that happening? I moved it the wrong way. All right. Six and five eight. Seven and a half. All right. So this is where she's going to live. I know you guys can't see most the top and the bottom, but hold on one second. I'm just going to, because I'm going to need to take it off and I don't want to have to remeasure again. So I'm just gonna make some pencil guards or guides. They will wash off. And, oh, it's a hurricane. Okay, so I'm gonna use my guides, put it back in. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right, hold on, Pops. You're killing me, Smalls. So mm -hmm. unlike, you know, a plastic or glass, you have a little bit more time to move it around. Um, I'm going to use my transfer tool and I'm gonna get my burnishing pad down. So I'm going to give it a rub that way. So Dana, it was Dana that said that she she couldn't. Was it the Amazon, the same Amazon ones that I have here? Is that the ones that were giving you trouble? Because those are super sticky. I'm surprised that they didn't go on for you. Onyx, of all the places for you to be, oh. You doggone fly. The diver for your face. So this is the um, redesign transfer tool. You can use the stick that it comes with if you'd like. I tend to use this tool. Thank you, Onyx. Now I can get closer, baby girl. It's diving for my face. Stinker. Well, I'll try to use a couple of those. What's all this fancy measuring? Don't sound like girl measuring. <laughs> no, I don't do girl measuring. 
If you guys ever want to learn how to read every little mark on a ruler, start making scrapbook albums. I knew how to read a ruler before, but I wasn't, you know, into all of the little lines and everything else. But now I can read every little mark on a ruler because I've made scrapbook albums for so long. So this one is coming off pretty easily. I can actually see it transferring down to, because you can tell when your transfer is down, um, you can actually see it come away from the plastic. That L, there it goes. All right. And if you ever want to arm workout, just do transfers. Carol, she kills me measuring. I'm an eyeball person. <laughs> I'm starting a scrapbook from an old book. Ooh, are you? I've actually never... I've always made my scrapbook albums from scratch. So from the covers to the signatures to, you know, everything inside. Um, but when I seen um, Shannon do that album or that book on Creative Hour a couple of Saturdays ago, I really want to try that. I loved that. Mm. No, Troy, Troy, I don't need it, baby. Thank you, though. So this is going to look super cute. Again, you will see how that white background, it really throws it off and makes it hard to judge how good it's going to look when it, you know... Sometimes you almost need to get it down to see what else you need to work with. I have a book that I did use an old book. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I have the book pages full and pockets done and tags made. Ooh. Is there anything I can't do? Miss Wanda, there's a lot I can't do. Shoot. A ton. Look at how good that looks. So satisfying. God bless you, son. But you will definitely get an arm workout for sure. Dana, when you um were putting your transfers down. Were they just not sticking at all? Like you couldn't make, it wouldn't make contact at all? Because I'm almost wondering if, you know how I was talking earlier about how I don't wash my fabric first. I'm wondering if that would be one time when you would need to wash it because it sounds like there's something on there that's making it not want to stick it would stick it would it just wouldn't rub off i just bought the black chipboard and black cardstock to make your fancy Ooh. I, now that Teresa Renee has received her album, I still need to post the finished album because I only posted just the outside, you know, I didn't post it after it was decorated. So I still need to post the reel with it all done because I added all the... Um, the waterfall and the pockets and, you know, the tucks and all of that. So 
in the reel that I shared, you couldn't see any of that because I wanted her to get it first. You are writing journal and you don't think just do what's right. You did wash it, huh? Wow. That's so strange. I know this is painful to watch. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, I would pick a big transfer to do. But it's a, the, the size of the um, actual towel surprised me. I kept unfolding it and unfolding it. And I'm like, good Lord, this thing is huge. Oh, uh, did you use fabric softener? I bet she did. I, I'm wondering what it is. All right, let's see. No softener. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What is all of this stuff? Look at that. I love it. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my burnishing and just make sure it's down everywhere. This does not, although the texture looks like it would, it doesn't scratch your transfer at all. It just makes sure that there isn't any air bubbles. Um, it would also get rid of that halo if you were doing it on like a dark background. It helps get rid of the halo from the transfers. So there we go with that. I know, right? Okay, so, all right, first of all, this isn't working for me. <laughs> Doing all of that uh, working out gave me a, uh, starting to get hot flashes. Okay. I seen a mad face and I went, oh, sorry. Somebody gave me a mad face. I think it was on accident. Okay. So now let's get this dog on hair out of my face. Let's get some of this other, these other transfers down. I do want to try um some of these that gave dana problems too just so we can see okay now i do want to use i want to put something i want to do some of these on there at some point so let's just yank these out all right so we have flowers um, Christmas Eve, or do we have a Merry Christmas? Yeah, we do. We have a Merry Christmas here on this one. So how big is this Merry Christmas? I guess hot cocoa doesn't have really, it doesn't have to do anything with 
um, Christmas, though, so we don't have to put Christmas on there, do we? Wish I could be a quarter as good as talented. Oh, no, you are everybody. And you guys are all amazing. Um, don't ever compare yourself to anybody because you're all amazing. Ooh, look at him. He's just sitting there by himself, y'all. Oh, we have a cute little bow. All right. So, again, it's hard to see what to do because they're on this white background. So, do should, do you guys think we should take out the Merry Christmas? I kind of like that, too. Should we put Merry Christmas on here? Or no? I would probably put it at the bottom. But I don't even know if we should even designate this as something Christmas. In particular, I kind of like all of this, too. The postcard stuff. No Merry Christmas. No Merry Christmas. No Merry Christmas. Where did my, um, where did my candy canes go? Okay. We need candy. We, we need more candy canes. Okay, so no Merry Christmas. We do have a lot of greenery that we could put on. So we'll definitely have to cut some of that. Candy canes. I just say no, do the Christmas stuff on the other one. Okay. No, because then you can use it all Christmas. Could see me fighting with Bodabra. You're fighting with the Bodabra. Oh, my word. I've never used the Bodabra. Okay, so then if that's the case, let's get these flowers back out and cut these so we can see what we want to do for placement. Because look at how pretty these are. So if this towel hangs in the corner like this, we can put a couple of these in the corners. We don't have four. Look at these are kind of cornered. Can you see that? Doesn't the Christmas candy cane make it Christmassy? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Okay, so these look to me like they would be perfect corners. I've seen somebody said they've never used transfers. They're so fun. So you see what I mean? Like it fits. No, you can't see because my big head's in the way. You see, it fits in the corners beautifully. They all kind of have that angle that I didn't even notice. Ooh, I didn't realize they all had an angle to them. So these are the IOD. Um, I'm thinking that vintage retail therapy.com, Mara, I'm pretty sure she probably still has these. If not, you might want to check my Victorian heart. Um, Kimberly does the uh, IOD too. You'll shut up. You do. It always turns out amazing. Yep. What did Miriam say? Have you thrown it across the room yet? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so that one. So we can do flowers in the corners, and we can actually don't even have to do the same because they're all kind of cornered. So then that'll close in the space a bit. So that way we're not, you know, working with so much big open space. 
All right. Oh, they're so fun. They're so fun, Margaret. And then they just take, I mean, you really don't have to do much and it just takes your, you know, whatever you're working on and just makes it look so beautiful. The most effort that you're putting in is, you know, doing an arm workout from having to rub the transfer on. <laughs> All right. So, do you guys see those in the corner? Do you like that? They are fun. I'm liking these trans. I they're beautiful. These this I O the I O D transfers are beautiful. Um. So I, I don't know. So that would be two of the corners there. And then we have the other two here that can go in the corner. But this one looks like it should be a top to me. I don't know why. It just looks like it should be one at the top. So let's put this one up here. And then this one up here, where you guys probably can't see because of my head. Is it going to go this way? Yeah, I like it better that way. Okay, so let's get these on. I definitely want to know where you bought all of your transfers. I bought all of mine from Rap City Art Barn, which is Tracy. Um, she probably still has them too. Um, what did I do with my transfer tool, y'all? So all of your transfers will either come with a stick, um, like that, which was really cool. Is looks like they finally got it and changed it to this color. Um, your smaller ones also come with the little plastic one, which is usually what I like to use um, if I have to use one of them, but I'm gonna flip that tag up, but I am going to use my transfer tool, and that's actually what it's called, is a transfer tool. Hi, Betty. I know what you mean, Julie. I've had two strokes and hands are very weak. Oh. You guys, um, let me know if that noise is bothering you. It, that's the bracelets that it's hitting on. Try to tip it up so it doesn't make that noise. Okay. This one's smaller, so I can see already that it's going to be going on a lot faster. And you guys... Can you see? I forget that my big head is up in that corner. All right. Now, let's see what we got. Yeek, so pretty. Thank you, Betty. All right. So... Let's see what we got. And if it doesn't come off, if you start lifting up and you notice that, you know, you still have some on your, your top sheet, just lay it back down. That's why we always lift up, you know, slow because the chances of you getting it all down first go are, you know, pretty slim. So... But when you're doing them, you can actually see it come away from the top. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And so now again, I'm gonna take my burnishing pad. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't that Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, 
so pretty. Okay, so now we have that. And I believe this was my other corner. Yeah. So let's get this one up there. And I was looking at the time because you know me. I take forever. <laughs> All right. And I am not getting it on the, if you can see the hem. I'm, I'm not putting the transfer up on that actually where are you pops i can't see you you're probably right behind my brushes i can't see you what are you doing with your phone i see so this one that this one came out of, I believe it was, yeah. So this one is Candy Cane Cottage, okay? Candy Cane Cottage is the one that had the flower clusters with the berries and oh my goodness, it's going to be so pretty. see it's the only thing hard about it being in the corner is because it is up so close to that hem it's hard to get it okay let me turn it turn it this way <laughs> that left-handed stuff probably need to change to my right arm that way I don't, I'm not lopsided. Good morning, Jesse. You're not late. Did you get to sleep in today? You don't work on Saturdays, do you? Oh, I see a little part of this leaf didn't go down and that Yay! so fun we have the window open again sorry if it's loud i don't think you guys hear much because of the cancellation but oh my goodness look at that so we have whoa don't fall so we have those and then let's do the bottoms. I know I have you guys pulled in still pretty close. So let me. What link, Ann? All right. So this one. Okay. So this is actually the. I knew that was going to make me. Do we want the rose pointing down because it's at the bottom? I think that looks pretty like that. Yeah. Hi, Beth. How are you? Thank you, Sharon. Okay, guys. Enough. Onyx. Onyx. The one that Sue gave to the Rhapsody Art Barn. I'm not sure. Yes, down. Okay. All right. So let's get this one. 
And if you can just put, uh, that's not an affiliate link by any means, but if you could just put in there to tell Tracy that I sent you guys, that would be amazing. Just so she knows that I send in her my friends. But that's, I don't, if you forget, it's no big deal. It's not an affiliate. She's a small business in Oregon. She ships super duper fast. Anytime I order from her, I swear to goodness, I get it like the next day or two. I mean, I know it's close because she's in Oregon, but still, it's super fast. <laughs> Hi, Trina. No, it's Terry A. White. Huh? What do you... Now I'm real confused, Anne. What, what are you trying to get to? Are you trying to get to the transfers? Or are you trying to get to my Facebook? Trina, how do you feel today, love? How's your throat? Did you get anybody to get you your chicken noodle soup? You're doing good, Bev. Glad. All right. Let's get so we can get this down. Oh, see, I, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, you can. There's a little piece, the tip of the leaf that didn't go down. So I just lay it back down. And just as easy as that. Yay! Make sure I don't throw away the wrong thing. Okay. And same thing. We'll burnish this down. Make sure. You really want to make sure you don't have any air bubbles. Okay. No matter what you're putting it on. Fabric. Wood glass make sure there's no air bubbles because transfers they will dry and if you have an air bubble under there unfortunately it will dry out and it won't look pretty um after a while the same thing um i don't know if you guys know but i i've said it before transfers do have a shelf life um you need to use your transfers because they do expire. Um, you'll notice sometimes when you try to put them down and they're older, they don't go down nice. Uh, they crack or what have you. And it's because transfers do have a shelf life. You can't just, you know, hold on to a transfer forever. You do need to use it. You definitely don't want to store it anywhere where the sun will hit. Um, that will ruin them. You got form flex today? Oh, how exciting. It's getting better. No one got me the soup. So when I'm better, I'm going to cook my own freezer for dogs like this old Trina. I'm sorry. Oh, Ann, are you on Crafty Creations? Is that why? I didn't even look to see if where you were today. Oh, my goodness. There's three people over on Terry's Crafty Creations. If you want to head over to Terry Lightsey, um, my main page, that's usually where everybody chats at. Uh, so if you want to find everybody else, uh, it's on, it's on my Terry Lightsey page. Um, you know, many a times I've tried to transfer everything over to Terry's Crafty Creations, but the book is no help and starting from scratch is very hard, but I do stream over there 
um, because I've had weird things happen with videos sometimes. So I stream on my main page, The Crafty Creations, and also on YouTube all at the same time. So if you're ever wondering why you're not seeing comments, it's probably because it's coming from one of the other places. Hi, Shauna Roberts. How are you? <laughs> All right, so Onyx, this is our last corner. Did I tell you guys that I, did I remember, did I ever tell you guys that I walked across the street and talked to the lady where the, I seen the man trying to open her door? Did I tell you guys? I can't remember if I told you guys what happened. I feel like I might have told you. Y'all know my memory is bad. Oh! Yeah, I... Everybody, you guys, I, you're always, all of you are always in my prayers, but I really do hope that all of you who are not well... <laughs> I didn't tell you. Oh my goodness. Hey. Okay. Look at this, guys. Let me pull you guys out a little bit. So, can you guys see? Look at our hand towel, y'all. Oh my goodness. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Now, before I tell you my story, it's 2:23. So, I can stop and do the wheel and tell you my story. Do you guys think we need to put anything else on here? Now, I will protect this so that this will be washable. I will put it on all of the transfers. I know people have said your tra transfers are not washable. Terry makes them washable. Okay. They're on my aprons, everything. So, um, I don't know what you guys think. Do you think that's enough? Or do you guys think that it needs something else? I know it's so hard for you guys to see like this too. Okay, so this is... I don't know where I'm going. Go this way, Terry. And see, so it, it hangs, it has the hanger like this. So... Uh, the burnishing pad you can get at Micah Daughters. It's in my uh, description. At Micah Daughters, you can get um, you can get the burnishing pads. They come in a pack of two. Thank you, Shauna. I put your name on the wheel. Um, looks enough as is. Um, no, looks great. How about a little red on the mug? Oh, we could do that, Donna Sue. That would be cute. Did you get me on the wheel for today? I did. Um, I, I know I did miss somebody else, though. I thought I missed somebody else. I got all of you guys. Oh, I didn't get. Okay. So, oh my goodness, Jesse, thank you so much. You don't have to do that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am, Miss Wanda. You are. Okay, we could do um, washable. Sorry. I put wash it. So it protects, it can go in the dishwasher if you want to. <laughs> I actually have put stickers on um, Trevor's, um, like, his cups, and it goes in the dishwasher, and it, it's fine. Oh, you guys don't want to see my big big head. What am I doing? Um, okay, so we can do um, something here. I'm trying to think. 
a little red on the cup. Yes, Betty, I got you. I got you. There you go. I know, Sue is amazing. I'm trying to think what we could put here. I wish I had... Um, oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I hear you, baby boy. Mama's, mama's trying to find something. Hold on. Hold on. What, Bob's? Hold on, son. Hold on. Hold on. Can you put a transfer on the transfer? Yes, Miss Sue, you can. What am I doing with that? Oh, because you pulled it off, you want me to get it off. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is the crystal pin, the crystal glaze, and the crystal case, right? So this is the pin to the this one. The um, When you do this, if you are to paint it on, it paint it's um, not as opaque as if you were to put it into a stencil. I'm scared to open anything on here. <laughs> so when they dry, though, because you're going to look at this and go, oh, no, that's not the right color. Don't do it. When they dry, they do dry more um, opaque than what they look like in the jar. Okay, so you do want to stir it up a bit. So if you remember the iridescent blue is what we used on the, um, on the picture frame that I did for the snowflakes. So, this is the same product, it's glaze. And I'm assuming when you say red, you're talking about here. Who asked me that? Hi, Lori. I didn't even say hi to you. I'm sorry. You have them, they're still out of stock, huh? Okay. Do you guys think I should put some red in here? Nobody's answering me. Nobody's answering me. I love you too, Lori. I'm sorry. Joy, mm. Joy, should I put the red on here? Mm. 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 They're not answering me, Joy, Joy. Mm. 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 I am going to have to get that off with um, some alcohol, son. If you guys hate it, blame the lag. <laughs> Put some freaking red on there. <laughs> so if you can see, I'm just taking a um, long candle stipple brush. And I am literally just feathering it out. So from where it's very dark on the edges and feathering it out this way. And you can see it on camera. It's giving it a tinge of red. And then when it dries, you'll see it a little bit more. What I think I want to do is come back in with some some like some stickles on that candy cane.
Okay, Jamie. Have a great weekend and a great dinner. Okay, do you see it? So it's not a lot, right? But you will see a little bit more when it dries as well. But I also think because it's whipped cream, y'all. No, no, turn it back on. It's not a dance party. It's not a dance party. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Turn it back on. Troy, seriously, though, turn it back on. Okay, so we have, I'm looking at, ooh, look at, we have pearl white glaze paste. Troy, don't do that. Turn on mommy's light over there. We have the um, glaze paste in pearl white. So I'm going to come in on the, Troy, it's not a dance party. I'm going to come in on the whipped cream. Oh, I thought somebody said to have a good dinner. I'm sorry. No, I was thinking that too, Carol. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Wipe your hands on your pants. Were you silly? You don't wipe them on my towel. Are you nuts? <laughs> what do you think? It's a hand towel? <laughs> you guys, you know, Troy goes like, it's so cute, y'all. Oh, my neighbor. Okay, so I forgot to tell you about my neighbor. So, mind you, I've never met the lady across the street because um, she only just recently moved in. So, I walked across the street. Um, her and one of her younger sons were outside with a dog, with their dog. And I introduced myself. They obviously seen me come walking uh, from across the street. And so I, you know, told them who I was. And um, I told them that, you know, the other day that I seen a, a man trying to get into their front door. And her eyes just went like that and i said you know i tried to get a picture of him um but by the time i came outside because obviously i didn't want him to see me trying to take a picture of him um but by the time i came outside he had already um walked to his car his truck which he parked around the side there the gate i said and then i did notice that he kept driving back you know, up and down our street here. I said, I know that your boys stay home alone um, sometimes because I do see that she must, she works a long time. Like, and she did say that she works a, a 12 hour shifts. And I said, so, you know, it made me a little nervous because I could tell he was trying to get in. So she, when I described the car to her, she knew right away who it was. Um, apparently, she just got a divorce, and it's her ex-husband who she's trying to get a restraining order on, and he's not even supposed to know where they live. So, um, yeah, that made my heart drop even more because he was literally trying, I mean, he was, the door is here and his nose had to have been up on that door because he was doing this. And um, so I'm gonna use some stickles and this is in diamond. So she said that she's been trying to get a restraining order and having a hard time. Um, I don't know if, I didn't understand what that meant. I don't know. She um, spoke Spanish. Her son was translating for her. Um, I don't know if she was having a hard time with the system not giving it to her or what. But I said, you know, if you, God, that looks so pretty. You can't see it. 
doggone it. This is sparkling, y'all, and you can't really see it. But I said, um, if I see him back, I will take pictures, um, you know, or try to get him on my camera. Because from right here, I can see clearly her front door. I don't even have to move. I just see her front door. Um, I said I would try to get pictures for her and um, so she can attach it to her her, her court stuff um, to hopefully help get the, you know, get the restraining order but yeah apparently he's not supposed to know um where they live uh so he obviously knows and she did say that you know she's she worries because um she works 12 hours and the boys are always there by the you know themselves now i did say that they are teenage boys they're not little they're not little tykes so don't think she's leaving like little babies home or anything but i did tell her and i told the boy the young boy that was there a young man i said if you need any help or you need me to you know ever take you to your mom or you need to get to your mom or something just come across the street and i you know i'll help you so so she said thank you but yeah so apparently he uh he's not he's not supposed to know where she's at and he found her so that's not good at all yeah i think so i think so sue i think exactly that i think so yeah i have re i have a ring doorbell but i don't have my perimeter set to go that far um and since she's across the street my ring didn't pick it up now if i would have hit record it would have picked them up but you know, I didn't think about it because I was really just like kind of tripping off of him. Like, what the heck is he doing so close to that doggone door like that? So I know this sparkle looks good, right? Okay, so what I think we will do um, when I come back on uh, Sunday is we'll do some on the berries um, just to give them a little bit of sparkle, not a lot um on the berries and then i'll put the wash it on with you guys so you guys can see me do that and i think that'll be it for this one the next one will do more christmasy oh uh, thank you guys i just know what me and my boys have been through and um no like i i'm i do not play that i will i will uh, uh, uh no i will be the first one on the phone um so yeah, so this the next one we will do. Um, now I got to make sure I don't fold this thing because I put stickles on there. But the next one we'll do Christmassy because remember I have another one that th that's this big. So this one can still be Christmas, but um, the other one we'll do like Santa and everything on because you guys I wanted to put Santa on this thing because I had this out too to do. So it's like a, a like a stand, one of those little sign stands. But that Santa is so large, he doesn't even fit in this area. It's crazy. Will you try that rub on maybe on another cloth after? Oh, doggone it, Dina. Hold on. Yes, Dana, I will. We will, Dana. We'll definitely do, because these are more, a lot more Christmassy. Um, we will definitely put on one of these on the, um, on the second one. I'm so sorry. I forgot all about that. We'll definitely put that on. But I know that I have put these on like stockings, um, linen stockings. Um, that's why I have these bigger ones, because these, these aren't part of that set. See, these are two sets. And I know I've used these before on the stocking. So I will definitely put some of these on the second towel that we do on Sunday. If I saw him come back, I'd call 911 and say there is a creeper on your street. I know. <laughs> They're going to be like, this chick's phone always calls 911. Love the hot cocoa. I, it's so cute, right? I'm glad we finally put it on something. And if you can see, the red is starting to come through a little bit more as it's drying. So, anyhow, let me, 
I'm sorry, Dana. I totally forgot me going on and on and on and on. But I will definitely put it on the um, second one because I want to do. Um, I want to use that Santa because I don't. I don't know what else to put him on. He's so big. He won't fit in here, and I. I don't. I don't know what else to put him on. So, and I have stockings, and he's still too big for the stocking. Now I'm always looking to see. So anyway, so this was the clock that we finished today. If you were here at the beginning, so we finished this clock today. We did one of the hand towels today. We'll do the second one on Sunday, and then I'll have to pull something else out because we'll finish that one soon. No! Betty, he will not. Let me tell you how big he is. He's, I don't, didn't I take him out already? Yeah, I did. Mr. Santa. Santa. Okay. He is, I will put the wheel up on the screen in just a second, y'all. From head to toe, toe. Is this toe, is this foot longer? Yeah. So from head to toe, he is 11 and 7 eighths, almost 12. So, I mean, he's ginormous. I don't even know if he would have fit on this thing if I would have put him on here. Oh, he would have. That would have been cute to put him on there. Anyhow. Okay, so let's get the wheel up here so we can do happy mail and me and Troy Troy can. Um, the thing is with the silver tray, Betty, is usually the actual tray part. You know, the big, the whole tray is big enough, but usually inside of the tray without, you know, the inside of the rim usually is not that big. It's just bananas. Oh, Kathy, let me get your name on the wheel really quickly. Okay, as usual, I thank you all for doing all the things. I appreciate you all. Um, and let's do a shuffle one time and good luck. He is a big Santa, right? Carol McGill. Carol McGill, congratulations, Carol. So, Carol, if you can please message me your I hand to try that. I have to try that on a towel. I know, right? I mean, you we can we you can decoupage and everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute would it be to do the trees? One of the tree rice papers and then put Santa on there on the next one. Do you know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? You know one of the new the new trees. So we'll have to do um we'll decoupage and transfer the next one. Yes, right, Miriam? The woodland trees or the um Oh, I keep cracking my knee. <laughs> the woodland trees or the, what else? You know, the ones that are just green and then the lighter ones. So the soft pines or the, um, the other one that are just trees. So yeah, 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 yeah. Starry night. Well, we used that one already. So we used that one already. Oh, there you are, Carol. You're welcome. Send me your address. I've been in bed for three days now. This has been hard on me. I never miss work. And for me to stay in bed like this, you know I don't feel good. Oh, I know, Trina. Oh, I hope you get better soon, like soon. I like the background trees that look like a stencil. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This one? Is that what you're talking about, Shannon? The pattern pines? 
That's what I'm talking about. Like, we'll do Santa. We'll do the pattern pines and then do Santa. And um, do a bunch of the other Christmas transfers. Why did you fall down? Oh, because your little rubber thing left. But anyhow, so yes, all a pillow, a pillow, do it on a pillow. Oh, that big old Santa. I don't know if he would even work on a pillow, Betty. Golly, he's so big. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Um, if you are going to see me tomorrow, I have Debbie with Check Savvy Sisters will be on. So that'll be amazing. And then on Sunday, I'll be back so we can do the other hand towel. We can also test out these transfers on the cotton and see how they work out. But um, many, many prayers and blessings to you all who don't feel well. And I hope that you get better very soon. And I hope to see you guys either tomorrow or Sunday. Take care, y'all. I will see you soon. Bye.